What happens if your chakras are opening? When your chakras are opening, it's good. It just allows the energy to flow through your body, right? But you just gotta be careful when it comes to third eye stuff because third eye, if you don't follow the right guidance and you're just opening up and you don't know where your energy's going, some souls can get half trapped outside. And So we have a very interesting question here today from Simone and uh, the question is what happens if your chakras are opening and the third eye will be there too so is the outcome the same? Well every chakra is, is different your third eye is only one of the seven chakras and one of the thousands of chak minor chakras that's through your body as well so um, that has its own functionality. So if you say is the outcome the same, every chakra activation, the outcome will be different. However, coming back to your question, when you are activating all of your chakras, is it likely that your third eye chakra will start activating too, right? Will. I'm not saying it, it, it's opened. I'm saying it will begin to activate too. Why is it? Well, if we look at it like this, okay, let's take your chakra system. Imagine it's a bit like um, uh, water pipes, okay? So it's like it, you have one water pipe which holds y your seven chakras, okay? Then you have many minor chakras, so many sub pipes lines, okay? Now on that main pipe, if you've got your third eye chakra up here, and you're saying if I start, if I'm activating the other my chakra, the other chakras, let's say my sacral chakras, solar plexus in the energy center, okay, or my root chakra, it's activating. So it's almost like turning the valve, opening up the tap here, opening up the tap here, opening up the tap here. Will that start a flow of water in that sense and energy in this sense? Will it start the flow? Of course. When when there's water flowing up and down, is it going to bombard? It's going to move the energy and bombard the blocked chakras or closed chakras. Absolutely. So what I'm saying is it will begin to activate, right? Who knows whether it's going to open completely or not. It depends how blocked it is in the first place or how closed it is in the first place. So when you say is the outcome the same, not really because every chakra has a different purpose for it like your root chakra for the grounding, like your solar plexus for the activation and the energy and the motivation and desire, right? Your heart chakra for your feelings and your emotions and the love you have. But when it comes to your third eye, it's very different because third eye, I always call it the airport. Third eye is the ability for a, a in this physical realm for one to take their energies outside in alternate dimensions, visit and come back. Right? We don't do that through crown chakra. People call that samadhi. You can leave indefinitely if you leave that way. And that's not our goal. So is it the same? Absolutely not. What happens if your chakras are opening? When chakras are opening, it's good. It just allows the energy to flow through your body. Right? But you just got to be careful when it comes to third eye stuff. Because third eye, if you don't follow the right guidance and you're just opening up and you don't know where your energy is going, some souls can get half trapped outside and you know so we make sure like my my spiritual teacher my spiritual master always says like um spirituality one should not venture out by themselves they should follow a teacher a guide a master uh, a coach that have been there or are there and know what they're doing uh, because it's a big world out there it's not just positive it's positive and negative just like this world here Hopefully that answers some of your questions and uh, cleared some things up for even more of you who are listening to this right now or watching this. And uh, please do give a thumbs up, hit the like button if you learned anything at all, comment below, let us know if you have any questions at all. Uh, oh, by the way, if you're asking questions, my recommendation is for you to follow the Instagram page because on there my team usually checks those messages much, much more frequently and therefore your chances of connecting with me and getting that uh, question answered is a lot more likely very maybe likely okay <laughs> so um if you're new to the channel and you haven't already remember remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next year that's a little bell sign by the way because this year we're back to daily videos and we're going to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet so guys we'll see you on the next video prayers for all of you namaste namo himalaya